over to all seeing camera we back to the channel with another one not just anyone not just anyone but maybe my most important unboxing of this year my most important due to the fact that it ties back to a musical artist like Kanye West which has became a very controversial name in some households but if you are a fan of Mr. West I know you're excited this week we do receive another album this album is Vultures and this is the joint album with Ty Dolla Sign and for those that haven't seen the vlog yet oh lord oh lord we made the Miami listening party for Kanye West and we went to the event hence how we got the t-shirt here and if you watch that vlog you saw how hard it was to get this t-shirt not a lot of people were even able to get their hands on this shirt merch line got so hectic Kanye went overtime because he came out late as I expected 40 minutes after the venue was closed almost 4 in the morning they were still trying to sell clothes at 3:40, but they had to wait for like the merch to come off a bus or some crazy stuff so we were just standing there waiting after they got there the venue security at Winwood Marketplace shuts down the entire event they're like no everyone gotta go they start pushing people off the line like literally bodying people out the line I just slithered my way to the right they started coming from the left booming everybody I'm like I see you see me moving everybody like, you gotta go you gotta go grabbing niggas and they're like bro we were just here we were in line for like 45 minutes you gotta go you gotta go I'm like, oh, hell no. I just started shimmying my way to the right. Cut about a whole lot of people. And I'm like, yeah, bro, whatever comes with this, comes with this. I'm a really respectful dude. You guys see how we get merch in this channel. I never try to step on nobody's toes because I know I'm not the only fan. I know if you're at this event, most likely you like the artist as much. But I'm not going to lie to you. I was on some animalistic thoughts that day. I was on I was on survival of the fittest. Like, I was just going to get a t-shirt. They're shutting everything down. I go over about four to five people if you watch the vlog. And I just start waving my credit card. Like, I start waving my credit card like a blade in a jail fight. <laughs> Please, please. That was another thing. I don't know what happened, but I got stuck yelling, please, like an old school peasant. Please, please take my card, please, please, white large, please, please. I just kept repeating the same shit. Germany made eye contact with me. She got real awkward. She looked away. She was like, oh shit, he saw me. He saw me. I'm like, please, please, large. There was even some shorty like, ah. Ah, you're over me. Shorty, you better get up out this line. Shorty, you, get a better, you better get up out this line. Security already said this shit is closed. I don't know why you're still here. Please, please. Thank God that I am taller than the average because something caught the other shorty's eyes. And she's like, I can't, we can't sell anything, anything. And then the manager's like, yo, just, the manager's like, do the sale, do the sale for him and it closed down. Everyone's mad as hell because everybody wants a piece. But when he said that, my ears almost dropped some tears, bro. My boy Young Sound's in the back. She's like, I got both of you guys handed us both the piece. And right there, the whole shit ended. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. We get the shirt, we walk out, everybody is super tired. That's all my man's like, if shit gets worse to worse. We gonna have to throw hands because nobody is going to take this shirt away from me. Why? Because I got to get home back to the tribe and show my YouTube game what we were able to get at the Kanye West listening party. I've been looking everywhere online to see if anyone was able to get a piece early. I saw one person on one site. Gold didn't have it. StockX didn't have it. One person uploaded a piece to Grail and they're asking for 850 The funny thing about it is he wants 850 for it, right? When you go to the description to it, right? When you go to the description to his t-shirt, hear why he wants 850 Received last night at the listening party in Miami. So Security shut down the event and they couldn't even sell they couldn't even sell any more merch. No returns. Thank you. Extremely rare item. Never worn. New. And then he shows a couple pictures. He ended up getting a size one. You guys might say, what's a size one? These shirts were only available in two sizes. Size one, which they told me a size one was a small medium, which still looked humongous. Then they said a size two, which is what we got here, is a size large, extra large. They had one dude selling the merch, bringing everybody's attention over there. When he was doing that, he was 6'3". I asked him what size he was wearing. And he said he was wearing a two. And it fit him really smooth. So that's the size we decided to go on ourselves. And it's because the waist to the shirts are kind of all look real similar. The one and the two. The difference really was the sleeve. It was like, did you want a higher quarter sleeve? Or did you want the sleeve to fall a little bit lower? And I just thought this sleeve would look a lot better. What we have here is the Vulture shirt from the Listening Party in a white and black colorway. In the back, you can see the huge logo of the Vulture. And that's the Vulture of the group from Kanye West and Ty Dolla Sign. You've been seeing them wearing this t-shirt a lot. Kanye West, he was in different different places seen wearing the white one and the black one and on the front you see the same logo you see in the back but just a lot smaller right around the neck collar line the cut to it is like a weird like robe t-shirt poncho designer oversized balenciaga tee like look how the sleeves are cut how wide the sleeves are and then how short and wide the bottom is as well like like a little crop and it looks like it was cut by hand by scissors you can even still see threads hanging out right in the bottom down here uh look at the collar to the shirt that was the main thing the reason why i can't even take it off the hanger because i feel like it'll be real hard to show but the way the shirt was falling like an oversized worn it's like an oversized worn collar 
You know how Kanye West loves that Matrix look, and I don't even mean Matrix when they're in the movie all slick and black. I mean Matrix when they're in the boat fighting the real robots in real life. That's the kind of look. Look how wide that neck is. That shit gives me anxiety every time I see it. It's a look that he went for, and we've seen a lot of people wearing it at the show that was with him. And you can see a little bit better throughout the show. I don't want to pull the neck collar anymore. I can show a little bit better at the end, zoom up details, but that's the size two right there. They were done with Sharpie, no branding call out, no tags inside. Just the only print we see is outside the shirt. Let me just double check, but we were at the listening party last night, so I really haven't even had time to look at the shirt. This is my first time looking at it since we got it. I literally went to the show, got home at like four something in the morning, knocked out, and then had work like an hour later. So I've been running off nothing. I've been running off like no sleep. Let's go over a couple more details before we actually try on this piece. Retail for the shirt was $135. There was other pieces available, but due to the event being shut down, we never got to see them because they were waiting for everything to come. Line got a little hectic with everybody waiting, and just security just wasn't trying to have it. They kicked all of us out. They didn't even get to really sell clothes. They were just trying to sell as they were grabbing us out, and I was able to pull the last white. They were also going to release this shirt in black and white, they told us. They said, literally, give us five more minutes. They're running up. They're running over here now with the blacks. We've seen the guy holding the seen the guy holding the merch walking over. He's like, look at him right there. We all amp. He gets there, all that stuff, and that's when security gets out of hand and starts kicking everybody out. We never got to buy the black one. It was also shorts. They told us they were going to show us in sweats. We never got to see that. Somebody had on the pair of sweats. They were all white sweats with one blue stripe going across them. That's what I recall. I never got to see them better once again because the merch never came in all our sizes for them to start selling. And by the time it did, security wanted to hate and close down the event. Playboy Cardi was walking in next. He Ye was like, yo, we just waiting for Cardi. We're not leaving out of here until Cardi comes. I'm trying to tell everybody to calm down at the security shit. Security wasn't trying to hear it. They ended up turning the music off after a while on them. When it comes to the logo, I really don't know much about it to really go into definition of where they got that creative design. I've been seeing the argument going on online. Is it tied back to Albania? Is it tied back to Germany? We do not know. I will wait for Kanye West to come out and explain that himself to where he got the creative design. You guys let me know. Are you a fan of the shirt? Yes or no? Being, being a being a huge supporter, huge fan of Kanye West, real reason why I've been into the culture for yet so long since I was a child. Oh, we've been a yayaholic, if that's the terminology. So I personally like the shirt and I also personally like the album. I heard the entire album. I believe there was a couple of tracks that they missed due to being shut down. One with Future, one with Play With Cardi we never heard. But what I've heard from the album with Kodak Black, they didn't show the Bad Bunny verse, but Kodak Black, oh my God, fire. The Chris Brown track's the one that I want to hear the most. Um, so far, which I was really, 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 really shocked at a listening event, my favorite track was the song of Freddie Gibbs. I was not expecting for me to say that Freddie Gibbs went crazy. Not only did Freddie Gibbs go crazy, I just really liked that song. I was gonna start singing the chorus here. I keep trying to say that chorus to that song. Now, cursing, can't really do it, so I'm gonna just leave that out. But the song with Freddie Gibbs, when that shit comes out, just know I was going nuts. Go watch the vlog if you haven't seen it. Go watch the vlog if you have not seen it. Let me know, are you a fan, are you not a fan? You know, at the end of this, we will do zoom up details so I can show you a lot closer. I haven't seen no one but me and one other person selling a real one online. There's only been two people that I've seen selling a real one online. Allegedly, the merch is going to release this Friday. It's gonna be released for 80 bucks. It's what I'm a little bit confused for because he was selling at the show for 135. Is this another yay thing where he's gonna say he's gonna sell it for one price? The show the shirt either never comes out for you guys to ever purchase it for 80 bucks or it does and then the egg fell on our face or ours will be slightly different because it was just early is why we paid 135 because we got it at his listening party i'm not exactly too sure why the prices are a bit different but what i mean by that is look at this so we saw online there was a leaked picture of the merch that's supposed to come out with when the album releases on friday there's a shirt that looks identical to this one called the vultures tour shirt 80 dollars 100 cotton made in at los angeles i would suggest that this is the same shirt it looks the same everything but the collar looks the same the collar looks a bit different on that one that one might be a sample. That one looks like it was already a bit worn. But I don't know. To me, it looks like the identical shirt. The only difference is that the ours is... On the one that I have here, the logo on the front is super dark. Like, you can see that black. You can see that black standing out on the shirt. It looks gray to me, like a faded gray. But it could just be from the mock-up that we saw. It's also a Vultures Tour shirt, $50, which is 100% cotton, and it's supposed to be the short sleeve. Then there's a concert ticket, Vultures World Tour digital ticket. And it looks like a ripped up little paper with tape over. I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna show you guys my band for the event, how dope it was. Or maybe I'll just show it at the end because it'll be a lot easier for you guys to see when I do the zoom up details, but I'm saving that. That was super fire. Getting a little frame to put that 
band inside and with that band inside I'm gonna inside the frame I'm gonna put a picture of Kanye West that I took that day or maybe the one with all of them on stage edit it up a little bit after I edit it get a frame put the picture inside the frame put the band over the picture and hang it up somewhere in my house and the and the piece that mostly everyone wants from this drop is the pods sock shoe if you guys recall this is made in Italy it says a hundred dollars here but I did read online that it can go anywhere from 80 to 200 so these prices might not be a hundred percent right online that'd be kind of tight if this short releases for 80 bucks in two days like damn I told I told my man's about it I was like I'm still gonna cop it for sure just because we were at the event I'm not taking that risk with someone like yay maybe the shirt never comes out maybe you would never able to get your hands on this t-shirt so I want it from that night as a collectible item and then last piece that we see here is the passport for a hundred dollars and it just says easy on a dog tag it looks like a military dog tag that says easy why z why this will supposedly all release Friday with the album the 15th something crazy though that I noticed today because I just keep checking the Yeezy site is when you go on yeezy.com to, to join you know put your email in you gotta put your email in to join there is a timer going on right now for eight hours nine minutes and 30 seconds when you think about it that's gonna bring us to 12 a.m. again today and there was a timer last time and then around like five six o'clock seven o'clock he released the address to a listening party in Miami Wynwood is he going to do that again today for 12 o'clock one I'm praying he doesn't because it's ugly as heck outside and it's raining and it's like nah go to Los Angeles or something bro because if he comes to Miami you guys know I'm gonna have to go if he comes to Miami you guys know I'm gonna have to go and do this to myself all over again so hopefully hopefully it's like a stream hopefully the merch is coming out today hopefully it's anything but me having to run in Miami to go see him because you know if he puts out an address or he says that there's gonna be another event you guys will see it on this channel that's why I always tell you guys to subscribe I just did the last listening party and if there's another one I will be there I will find my way there I promise you I will let's go try this on you guys any to any information you guys might have about the timer going off at 12 tonight let me know let me know let me know feel free to DM me my social media is always somewhere up here if you know what's going on, feel free to DM me. And if there's going to be a live event, make sure you send me the address if I don't happen to get it myself because I want to get you guys the content on this channel and I want to go myself, actually. But you guys are fans, not a fan. Are you waiting for Vulture's item from? Let me tell you guys, from what I heard from that album, I thought it couldn't get better than Donda. I was like, wow, Donda's like a peak. I was thinking Donda was a peak because that Donda album was just too great. The production and everything, I was like, I don't see it getting better than this. But it's yay. It continues to amaze us. This Vulture album sounded amazing with Ty Dolla Sign, Chris Brown, Offset. Bad Bunny, Kodak Black, Freddie Gibbs, Bump J, and a whole bunch of other dudes. There's still oh Nicki, Nicki Minaj, a new body. Like, there's a lot of people on this album. And I usually don't like a lot of people, but everybody works and meshes in perfectly. That Chris Brown song was crazy. If you guys want to hear a little sneak peek of the album, I suggest you go check out the vlog. Go check out my vlog from Miami because I was at the listening event, so you can hear some tracks early, before Friday, before they actually release. Let me know what you think, though. You a fan? Not a fan? I usually throw my shirts at the end and then we get up and I'm trying stuff on. I'm not throwing this t-shirt. I'm not even throwing this t-shirt. I don't even know if I want to try it on. I want to hold it in front of my neck. Like you know when your mom tells you when you school clothes shopping? Bend it and put it next to your neck and open your arm. See if it fits you. I feel like doing one of those. But for you guys, I'm going to try it on. Let me know down below any questions you might have. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. We just passed for we passed 5,000 subscribers about a week ago. We are on the road to 10,000. Sub up, sub up. We are trying to hit this 10K. Usually my beat. Do, 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 do. I produced that. But no, not even that. What I wanted to talk about real quick was, oh my God, am I not so good at knowing my own body and looking at materials quick while going crazy and knowing my size. One and two, and I hit it nail on the head. The two fits me perfect. Look at the wrist. Look at the wrist. Like I was telling you guys I was so worried. Look at the wrist. Look at the wrist. Look at the collar. I was nervous that the collar was gonna fit me humongous. I thought that shit was gonna be like around my shoulders looking like a crazy ass tee. It does not. It fits me perfect. Now, look at the waist, the little crop right above. I don't know how great you guys can see. I know due to the green screen, but look at how that waist fits and where it finishes. Lordy, 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 we're gonna kill this fit. Oh my God, we're gonna kill this fit. <laughs> 
<laughs> I want the Gap hat. I want the Gap Dad hat with the little flames on the side. You know what I'm talking about? I want that hat. I don't know if I want that hat for this drip. Like, I do. I want to wear that one with this t-shirt. Don't know how great it looks together, but on top of my mind, just thinking off the top of the dome, this shit's gonna look fire. I want it. I want it. I want it. I feel like a wizard in this shit. I feel like an eagle. <laughs> What do you guys think? Are you a fan? Are you not a fan? I see everyone talking about the logo. It looks like it's real similar to the logo that Drake just wore as well in the Polar Opposites videos. You guys let me know down below. Is it the same thing? I really can't tell the difference. But as a Kanye fan and being at this Miami listening event, I'm not going to lie to you, I am excited and I love this shirt. I like the way it fits. Nah, this shit is hard. Man, I should have got two. I should have got two. Yo, this, oh, oh. If you a security guard watching this shit and you work at Wynwood Marketplace, if you work at Wynwood Marketplace, just know, just know you single-handedly cock-blocked one of my happiest memories because I wanted this in white and I also wanted the black, bro. That was my Christmas gift to myself, but y'all niggas came through. I know you work for somebody. I know you wanted to go home to your fam. I don't give a damn. You could have just done this for one day. You, I know one of y'all listened to, I know one of y'all niggas listened to, wake up, Mr. West, Mr. West, Mr. West. You couldn't, come on, son. If I was a security guard, bro, nah. No, Kanye, keep going. Kanye would have been back there fighting all those security guards up, holding them off the stage wearing one of these cloaks. Choom, 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 choom. Let me take this shit over before I mess my shit up. Subscribe to the channel, 10,000. Don't I keep telling you guys, the more and more subs we keep getting, the better and better shit keeps going. Look at the vlog. We were just at a Kanye West listening event together. We were just at Drake. We were just at Travis Scott. There's so much more coming to this channel. Keep subscribing. Like I love to say, we got it.